Hello everyone, welcome to Architect Interview Question Series. In this series, we are covering new questions on system design and software architecture. Let's go on to our next question. Question is, what are the use cases of Kafka? So Kafka is very popular and we have a video on Kafka architecture and like how Kafka works. Now let's understand what are the use cases of Kafka. So whenever we are developing software, we need some kind of messaging mechanism. And in recent times, like companies like LinkedIn and they, Netflix, they have been using Kafka extensively. So let's understand what are the use cases Kafka serves. So first use case is messaging. So this is the most popular use of Kafka as a message broker. So in an organization, if we are implementing in such a way that there are many messages that are published by different services, then Kafka is the one which can take the messages from producer to consumer so as a message broker. So Kafka has a much better throughput, performance, fault tolerance and features than other messaging system. Due to this, it is used for message processing in large systems like LinkedIn, Netflix, like billions of messages are processed with this Kafka. Right? So if you have such kind of use case in your application, you can also go for Kafka. Then website activity tracking. So all these use cases look similar, but if you think from business perspective, there are different flows or different places where these are used. So whenever we have a click stream, click stream is like, you know, whenever your millions of users are coming to your site and then they work on the site, they access some kind of pages, click on certain things. So all this is generates a lot of events. And these events are flown and called as clicks. So to track all this website activity or click stream activity we use it like a, some kind of a mechanism kafka can help us here because it can capture all these events very fast like page views user actions search queries and all that can be passed to one central stream and from where these messages can be passed to different consumers so in a high volume uh, user base with like millions of users kafka can help in website activity tracking and many companies are using it in this use case. Then comes a matrix, like if you have some Internet of Things IoT system, or if you have some other kind of a mechanism where a lot of data is getting generated, the operational data. So Kafka can be used to monitor that operational data infrastructure systems. So it can collect statistics from these nodes in a distributed system, and then it will start providing you an aggregate stream. So you can collect it from different Internet of Things devices and take it to a common stream. And from that common stream, the downstream consumers can start consuming it. So matrix aggregation is also from Kafka. Then comes log aggregation. Again, like, you know, there are different devices or different places where log is getting generated. Like, I mean, in, uh, we have a telecom, like there are so many telecom devices, they are generating logs. So Kafka can aggregate all these logs and it can get those physical log files from servers and those can come to like Kafka stream and from where downstream can access it. So Kafka can abstract the details from that in a standard format and send it as a stream of messages to downstream. So log aggregation also is a very good use case for uh, making use of Kafka. Then comes stream processing. Stream processing is like if you have some kind of a system where we need asynchronous communication, different from like a synchronous one. Synchronous communication is like APIs and asynchronous is like a stream. Let's say uh, people are trading stocks so that is like, you know, a stream of uh, orders that is coming. You now Kafka can start processing those orders. What it can do is that it will take that raw input, which will be published to Kafka topics. And from those topics, the downstream systems like who are processing those orders can start listening and they can start acting on those orders. So subscribers can consume the input from the topics that they are interested in. So you can have stream. Mainly all that ordering is coming to Kafka stream. And from there, like downstream, we have, let's say, some system for like business users, some system for like, you know, uh, normal consumers. So all those can be handled. Another use case of Kafka is event sourcing. Here, like if you have a system which is designed on the events, like in LinkedIn, like we have so many events whenever you are uh, 
uh, working on a LinkedIn, connecting with somebody, adding somebody as a friend or as a connection. So events are published, right? So these events are nothing but a state change in the system, like something change in the system. Now you want to process these events, but in a right order. So these events are time order and they are in a sequence. So now in the sequence, they are sent to Kafka and Kafka will maintain the ordering sequence of these events. And once it is maintaining the order and they are in a common pipeline from there, downstream subscribers can start processing them. And if there's a failure in the downstream, they can reread it and start like you know, from the place where they failed. So that way a large number of sequential events can be processed using Kafka. And last but not the least, commit log. Commit log is again a concept which came from the databases, but now in the distributed system, also we, it is getting popular. Here, like we maintain a commit log where we source like all the events. So any update that is happening in a service, any system, all those go to a commit log. So once there is a failure, like if there is some failure that happens, then you want to recreate the system, you can just go to the commit log and start from the time where the failure occurred right so in case of failure you can use commit log to resync the failed nodes and restore the lost data so like in hadoop stream processing different databases where we use the commit logs mechanism so kafka can help us in implementing a commit log across our organization so these are the main use cases of kafka commit log event sourcing stream processing log aggregation metrics and website activity tracking and the best one is messaging so do read about them in detail and i hope uh, we got most of your questions answered on the use case perspective if you still have more questions or comments do let us know in comment section we'll be happy to answer that thank you and have a great day